This tutorial is part of a YouTube course playlist and a Udemy course. You can access the first phases of this course on YouTube or the whole course at Udemy. Links to both can be found in the video description. Now that we have our Postgres database installed, it can be useful to have some sort of tool to actually interface with our database. And that's where AdMiner comes in. So AdMiner is a lightweight and very easy to use web-based database management tool. At least while we're familiarizing ourselves with this technology, AdMiner is a really useful tool, really simple, and like I said, lightweight, user-friendly interface for managing our database in comparison to tools such as PG Admin, which is excellent. But like I said, this really is a user-friendly interface, which is going to provide us everything we need to begin the project and easily allow us to interact with our database. We will be downloading AdMiner. We take a look at the documentation. In actual fact, it provides us what we need. There isn't anything special here that we need to do. I'm just going to copy this. If we go back into our Docker Compose, we're just going to add this new service, which is AdMiner, uh, image AdMiner, restart always port. You can change the ports if you like, but this is using port 8080. So now all we need to do is restart the container. So I'm just run Docker Compose up again with the D flag. That's going to pull down the AdMiner, AdMiner, maybe AdMiner or AdMiner. Apologies if I've uh, pronounced that incorrectly. I'm just going to call it AdMiner. I suppose it should be AdMiner. So that's going to take a few seconds and then we can go ahead and access the service. So in the browser, I'm going to type in 127. 001 and then colon 8080. So that's going to take us to the ooh, the login for add miner. Uh, so what we need now is a username and password and database. So we specify Postgres database, the server. So the server, that's going to be the name of our service. So we can use this name here, devdb. Now remember, these containers are all working in the same network. So or in the same project. So we can utilize the container name as the server in this case. The username is going to be Postgres. That's what we've defined within our settings here. Postgres, 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 and the database is called inventory. We don't need to worry too much about the database name. Let's see if we can log in. And there we go. So we're now logged into our database. So we can see here that we're using the public schema and there are a few different databases that are installed by default. We don't need to worry about that. So we're working here with the inventory database. Now, as and when we start to create tables and so on, we can go ahead and inspect that and we'll see it right here. But for now, we don't have any tables, but everything in regards to AdMiner is now set up. 